Hi, Tracy Nappy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a secure FTP connection using FileZilla. So what you want to do is you want to download and install the FileZilla program. You want to come over to File and then Site Manager. And when that opens up, you want to create a new site or if you already have a site um, already set up, you know, ready to go, um, you can edit this and add the secure connection to that. But for those who don't already have FileZilla set up, you would click New Site, enter the name of your site. Like you see here, I have you know just a name so you can identify it in a list. And then over here, you want to put in your host name. And if you're on HostGator, most of the time, it's just the full URL to your website. Um, some web hosts require that you have FTP dot, you know, bef before um, the domain name. Um, HostGator does not, so I don't have to put that on mine. And then um, over here, if you're doing a secure FTP, then you would enter in 22 is the normal port. If for any reason it does not work for your web host, and this usually 22 is the secure port for print like a universal number. Um, sometimes you have to put in 2222. It really just depends on your web host and whether or not it will take it. So enter in port 22, start with that. From the drop down for the protocol, click SFTP. You want to uh, make sure that your login type is normal. And then you enter in the username and the password for your FTP connection. Um, again, on HostGator, if you're, you're the account owner, that's probably going to be the same username and password that you use to log into your cPanel. It's the same. But if you are working for a client, they may have created an FTP account for you. You would enter the username and the password that they gave you for that particular FTP account. Um, again, you can set up different FTP users to access your site via your hosting cPanel or your hosting control panel or whatever your web host has. They usually allow you to add extra FTP users where you can restrict them to access only to a particular site or even a particular folder on your site that you want them to work on. And then once you do that, you click connect once you've got your username and password set up. Now if for any reason it stalls and it's, it's hesitating um, and it didn't connect right away, in most instances, what that means is that you need to go back and you need to at, go to File and Site Manager, click on that domain name again, and enter in 2222. That's how you know if you need to use just the 22 or the 2222 for your web host. And see how it connected right away? Now, sometimes there will be a little pop up window that will come up. And because it's reading um, the IP address of the host, it may say, do you want to trust this secure connection, whatever. And you can check the little box and go, yes, okay, I want to trust it, and you're good to go. And of course, once you log in, for most web hosts, you need to click and go under the uh, public HTML folder. And there you'll find all the files and everything for your uh, web hosting for that particular domain or over here on the right. And all of the files on your local computer would be over here on the left. And that's it. You just click on a file and you can uh, right mouse click on it to upload. If you've got a file over here that you want to download, you can click right mouse click and download it and it'll download or upload. The only thing you need to make sure, and if you're brand new to FTP, is that you're inside the right folder. So obviously you have to browse to find the folder that you want to, for the file that you want to download. Um, and then over here also, say if I want to download an image or something like that and I want it to be in the images folder on my computer, you need to make sure you're inside images here and you're inside an images folder over here so when you download it you know exactly where you put it and it makes sense. So I like to organize things so it's easy for me to find it when I go to say, okay, where did I download that? You need to just kind of be a little bit mindful of where you're downloading. Now another positive and the reason why I strongly recommend that you set up a secure FTP connection, aside from the fact that it's secure, which is the biggest reason, um, but also if you're downloading and uploading a lot of files, if you do not use a secure connection, the file download limit is usually around 2000, maybe 1999 or something like that, and then it will automatically time out and if you have, say you're moving 
files from one server to another or one location to another and maybe it's backed up webmail you know in the mail folder or something like that I mean something where you're moving a lot of files via FTP if you don't use a secure connection after 1999 files it automatically times out and the rest of them will not get copied and it doesn't appear though that's the that's the funny thing is it doesn't look like it timed out but it did I've I had that issue and learned this the hard way that um, there's a limit if you're not using a secure connection so always use a secure connection um, first and foremost for the security part of it but also so you don't get uh, timeout issues if you're having to move or upload or download um, a lot of more than 1999 files or 2000 files um, so anyway that's how you set up um, the secure FTP connection in FileZilla and if for any reason using port 22 or 2222 does not work for you contact your web host go check their frequently asked questions database put in SFTP or how to set up a secure FTP connection for your particular web host and they should give you maybe the host name the port number and all of that sort of thing um, you should be able to find that and just fill in that information so hopefully that helps you and until next time this is Tracy Noppy